it's nearing the time when the iMacs released at the end of 2009 are no longer covered by AppleCare. And if you own one, that might have you thinking that if something major, like the power supply, goes bad, that you'll be in the market for a new computer. But not so fast. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the power supply in a late 2009 iMac. But a couple quick things about this repair. First, if you have a late 2007 or early 2008 version of the iMac, you'll want to watch this video instead. Second, the 2010 version of the iMac does use the same power supply, but the repair process is a bit different, which leads me to my third point. This video is a great overview of the process, but a video is never an equal replacement for actual step-by-step -step instructions. So, I insist that you follow the repair guide on our site when you are doing your repair. Or you can download and install the iFixit app on your iOS or Android device and follow along that way. That all being said, let's get my parts and tools together so I can get started. For this repair, I'm going to need a set of heavy-duty suction cups, a T10 Torx screwdriver, which I'll get from my 54-bit driver kit, tweezers, and you're also going to need a thin probing tool. I'm going to use one of the probes from our Economy Probe set, but if you don't have one handy, you can use a paper clip. The probe is a little easier to work with, though. Last but not least, you're going to need your replacement power supply. There are a couple of other things that I'd recommend, even though they're not totally necessary. One of them is a magnetic screw map to keep track of all those teeny tiny screws. Another is an anti-static wrist strap to protect your iMac from any accidental static discharge, and some screen cleaner and a microfiber cloth to clean the dust off the glass before we put it back on. Now that I've got all of my parts and tools together, I can get started by removing this front glass. To do that, I'm going to lay the iMac down on its back and apply the suction cups to the top two corners of the glass. Once those are locked down, I'm going to remove the glass by gently lifting up and then sliding it in the direction of the top of the computer. Once the glass is off, you're going to want to make sure to set it somewhere where there is zero chance that it will get knocked over. Now that the glass is off, I can begin to remove the eight T10 Torx screws that are securing the LCD to the frame. You're going to want to watch out for the magnets because they have a tendency to grab onto the screws as you're pulling them out. Now that all the screws are out, I can begin to work on getting the LCD out of the case. The LCD is pretty big and takes up most of the space that the case has to offer. And since fingers are a little bit too big to get in there and lift it up, I am going to use my probe tool. I'm going to start lifting the LCD from near the top of the computer, and to do that, I'm going to have to rotate it to get a better angle. Okay, now that I've got the LCD slightly lifted out of the case, I'm gonna be careful not to lift it too far because there's still a bunch of cables connected underneath. To start disconnecting those, I'll begin with the vertical sync cable. Now that I've got all four of those cables disconnected, I can actually remove the LCD from the outer case. Now, just like the glass, when you remove the LCD, you want to make sure to put it somewhere safe. Now that the LCD is off, we get our first real glimpse at the inside of the iMac, and I'll go ahead and rotate it around so you can see it. We can actually start to get to work on removing the power supply now, which is held in place by a couple of cables and four screws. But before you go removing the power supply, keep in mind that it does have the potential to shock you, so you do not want to touch the face of the power supply. Work safely and very carefully. 
That being said, I'm going to get started removing the screws that hold the power supply in place. Now that those screws are out, I can disconnect the cables that are holding it in place. Both of the cables have locking mechanisms, so if you're having a hard time disconnecting the cables, make sure you're depressing the little locking mechanism down all the way. Okay, with the cables disconnected, the power supply should lift up and out pretty easily. If the plastic frame around the power supply comes out with it, that's okay. You just want to make sure it makes it back into your computer before reassembly. For all of the parts and tools for this and many other repairs, head to ifixit.com. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest teardowns and repair videos, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter at ifixit, or like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.